Hey guys, today I want to share with you a video game project that I have that I abandoned it uh, two years ago. No, God, please, no, no. And I decided to take a look. So I was like, okay, that was not that bad. The code is actually horrible. It's garbage. But all in all, like what I had achieved throughout the developing of it, it, it looks actually pretty neat. I had a friend of mine that helped me. He uh, was an artist and he was like very, very engaged in it. And then I said like, ah, I don't want to do it anymore i gave up so sorry dennis sorry to upset you i don't think you want to ever uh, talk to me again or do any project with me so my bad this is a project that was inspired by the souls game so it's a souls like project alongside with dungeons and dragons universe that it was built alongside so many campaigns that i had with my friends during those tabletop dungeons and dragons so let's take a look at it and see what you guys think all right so here's the project you already can see 999 regarding lighting this was the idea like of having one level you would have like an entrance which is like a temple so here's the post processing volume when you get in and get out at the end it would all end up leading to the final boss area but it would be locked so you would have to go here and get the key or, or break a stone so we would unlock the boss area and you would fight the boss like pretty 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 simple you can see the UI amazing life bar first area you can see it would be very dark with some flickering lights the enemies would be beautiful orcs as you can see well most of it is, is, is the Sinti studios uh, assets but as i said like my friend the artist he took control over the the artist artist area artistic area he made some assets for me based on the Sinti assets which looks insanely good he did a pretty good job very a bit more realistic here you can see the ascent pile from the Sinti assets and then you can see the difference of visuals how it looks like or here you can see like he took this type of floor from the Sinti assets and turned into this it looks amazing but yeah, for now, things are not matching because, well, we stopped development. You would explore this area, which it was also dark. My idea was to have a save point here and slowly proceed towards the catacombs or the sewers. And the sewers has like a really, I don't know if you guys can see, it has a change of post-processing volume here is like more yellowish orangish and here you come it, it becomes a bit more greenish i wanted to light it up those little guys those little bulbs the end has this little fog and here you would have some of the enemies uh different types of enemies and then you can see again this uh transition of post-processing from area to area and here i didn't actually build much yet i just positioned uh it's all sinti assets to, to the stones and here would be you can see that there is still a hole in the side this. You can see that the idea was to break this crystal. It would unlock the boss area, which is pretty much here. Like this arena where you can fall. You would fight the final boss and it ends the level. All right. I showed the basics of the level. Maybe I can show a bit more the gameplay. What was my idea of main character? What could he do? Of course, he can walk. And I had this idea he would have have one arm different than the other you can see that his right arm uh, at this time is like a very very cheap horrible uh, electric effect so he would have four elements in his arms first one being in fire so he would have like this fire element and then he would be in the fire stance so being in that stance he has three basic attacks and then he would have two different special attacks which in case you would would have to unlock now he has everything but the idea if i would get more levels you would get experience points you would have to unlock some cool stuff and that was the idea he would have like those two attacks then he would change to second stance that i think ah this would be the stone instance these are the two special attacks it feels a bit more heavy this one he would have like some stone just spawning right in front of him and doing like an LE attack. 
And then you can see that his basic attacks, his tree attack combo is a lot slower and heavier, it would do more damage with the possibility of the enemy hitting you and breaking your stance. Then the third, I think this is the electric. No, I think this would be water, water ice. Yeah, he would do this spin, like uh, having some water and ice around him. Just together with this, like making a cone of ice cold, uh, that would look really cool. And the last one, yeah, the last one, it would be the electricity, which I think I need to do the animations a bit faster so he can have like do a little damage, but at, and do a little uh, poise them, uh, poise to their enemy stance, but still uh, be able to hit in many small attacks in a small window this would be another skill of his this rolling with some 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 sparks around him and this this one is his stance is a bit weird he's like breaking his <laughs> he's just like dying like Ugh, of old age my back and breaking but yeah, he would just do like a electric elbow. That would be the idea. I think I, as far as I remember, I could break these things. Uh, okay, another thing that I need to fix and I can show you guys the combat too. I built in a, well, the camera sensitivity is very, very high. I need to change that soon. Yeah, I still have, yeah, I have a lock-on system. If I retreat, the lock-on breaks. But, and if you would have more enemies, you could use a scroll mouse and then you would ch ch change your tagging throughout the enemies. When you're not locked in, if you do spacebar, the idea was just a normal roll. Just a bit so like but this one, you don't go that far. But it's the same idea, you get uh, invisibility frames. And when you're locked in, you instead have more this sliding. This is a bit more the Bloodborne type of uh, evasion. But you cannot go forward because, well, I don't, have, I don't think I have the animation. So that's why I did just for the sideways. And you can block. <gasps> I don't remember if my block blocks completely the, the damage. No, it's just a part of it. Wait, don't kill me, man. Ah, oh. wow, well, I'm even bad in my game. There's something wrong, I think, with the colliders. That's why he didn't break the um, pots. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you can break the pots. Then let's try to fight with the electric stance. Maybe this is something wrong. Yeah, now I blocked it. Uh, yeah. Took some damage. Okay, now I'm being able to damage him. Yeah. Well, there is a lot of fixing. Oh, he disappeared. Uh, there is a lot of fixing to be done, but that was the idea. Ah, I think I can break these guys too. Yeah. And... Yeah. This one is just placeholder guy. If I remember correctly, you could break these guys too. If you hit them. Yeah. And this would be the saving stone as said before. But that would be pretty much it. Like a bit of combat. You see that I, I took some damage. And the idea would be you have like a healing surge. If you press R. You use the healing surge effect, you heal yourself. And of course, there would be a limit. You could uh, replenish it depending uh, if you find something. And that's mostly it that I have. My idea 
is to was to develop this and make this level and, and release it on steam and have some fun for, as a demo but i ended up gave, giving up on the project and you know how it is you end up like making too much or you ah, i don't have the time for this so yeah that's pretty much it tell me if you guys like it is there anything that you guys would want to see if it interests you seeing a bit more about this uh, development of this like i can see already some really ugly stuff my my ui is disgusting as just the basic not even basic some ugly health bar and i didn't show you guys the deposit uh, menu which is also very placeholder but is an effect that i see a very very a long long time ago in, in 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 reddit and i wanted to copy that which is it's like a pause effect so the world is like slowing down to a point and then you you can see your character here the idea was to make everything black like mask it with the shader and then only your character and, and his effect is visible uh, I still had some struggles because, for example, if you pause when you are in the middle of the battle, you still can get like... It's like, oh yeah, I'm pausing, but then the guys are coming in and hitting you. That would be uh, really good. To f uh, I still need to think of something. And firstly, like the, the, kid, the, the enemy is blocking your character, which is not what I want. So this is something that I would like to fix too. But you can make some really cool images of your character like s s using your skill and then i would need to put a light in him so you could show like his face and and, and his front because the light at the moment is, is not favor favorable but when you pause i would put a light uh, show the, the character completely so you have a good vision of the character and the, everything else would be faded but i lacked the knowledge to do that and yeah, as you see, there's like some text here, some some weird font I got from somewhere. And this is not even buttons. I cannot even rate things. And the health bar, as I said, is, is disgusting. Made this lights flickering. And this is what makes gives those thousand warnings insanely. And I think lags my project insanely. So I'll probably deactivate that if I want to continue and this wall. Uh, that that's not the gate so it is the Sinti Sinti uh, studios uh, gate and you can see the brick wall is already from my friends so they don't match together either the wooden areas too is already new stuff and yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed it if you're in as i said if you're interested just let me know if this is something you guys would like to see maybe uh, see how i did some stuff you show a bit of my horrible horrible code but that's why we continue learning and trying to get better every day and yeah that's my simple project